Welcome to Capit's Virtual Classroom. In today's class, we'll be learning the basic of costing. Costing is a very important concept when it comes to a manufacturer. How you will price your product unless you know your cost properly. So the cost is something which we incur to make a product or a service. While the pricing is something where we add up some profit margin in the cost and we quote to the consumer, we call that pricing. So the difference between cost and pricing is, cost is an internal factor whereas pricing is an external factor which is being quoted to the consumer. When it comes to costing, the procedure which we follow to make costing record is called costing. So costing is the concept where cost statements are being prepared and maintained. The question might arise that why do we need to have costing? What is the purpose of having costing in place? So the purpose of costing is to price. Unless you know your cost properly, you may not be able to decide the pricing. So it is very important for us to have proper costing records so that the pricing of product can be determined. The second objective of costing system is cost reduction. Every company wants to reduce the cost and increases the profit. You may not be able to reduce the cost of your product unless you know it properly. So cost reduction is a very important factor for a company but for that you need to have proper costing records. That's why the second objective of costing is to reduce the cost. And finally the third objective of costing is to cost control. Cost control is a concept where we know our existing cost and we make sure our cost will not go up than this. This concept is called cost control. The difference between cost control and cost reduction is cost control says that if my cost right now is 10, make sure it will not go above 10. It should be 10 or lesser. And when I say that I want to reduce my cost from 10 to 9, we are talking about cost reduction part. So these are three primary purpose that why do we have costing and what is the purpose of costing. Now when we understand the purpose of costing. Let's understand the classification of cost. Cost can be classified into various categories as per nature, as per variability. In today's class, we'll be learning some classification of cost. So let's understand how cost can be classified as per their nature. When we say cost, the cost can be of three types. The first is called fixed cost. Second is called variable cost. And third is semi-variable cost. The difference between these three is a fixed cost is a cost which remain fixed for all level of activity. A cost which does not get impacted by production or the level of activity. We call that fixed cost. For example, when we are paying rent for the office, it's a fixed cost. Why do we call it fixed cost? Because it is not getting impacted how many units we are producing in this office. Even if we do not produce single unit, we are still paying that rent. So that's why it is called fixed cost. 
a cost which does not get changed with level of activity. The fixed cost can also be called period cost. The reason being the fixed cost generally change with time, with period and not the level of activity. That's why some people also call fixed cost as period cost. Then comes variable cost. A cost which fluctuates with level of activity in same proportion, we call that variable cost. When we increases the production, variable cost goes up. When we decreases the production, variable cost goes down. And this concept is called variable cost. The example of variable cost could be material. If I am making one mobile phone, I am using raw material only for one mobile phone. When I increase the production to 50 units, I have to buy more raw material. I have to have more labor. So those labor and material will be called variable cost. It changes with production. That is not getting impacted by time, but getting impacted by level of activity. And the third category is called semi-variable cost. A cost which is a combination of fixed cost as well as variable cost. So some feature of semi-variable cost is of fixed cost. It remains fixed for certain level of activity and then some portion of variable cost where it either goes up or goes down as and when there is a change in level of activity. This concept is called semi-variable cost. It is very important for us to understand these three concepts if we want to understand what costing is all about. Now when we know the broad classification Let's make a graph of these three and see how does it look like. Let's make a graph for fixed cost first. Let's assume that on 0x axis we are putting units and on 0y axis we are putting cost. We have just discussed fixed cost remain fixed it does not get impacted by level of activity. So when you make one unit, the cost was same. When you're making 100 unit, the cost is same. That means the line has to be parallel to zero x axis. That is where we can make a fixed cost line, which is always parallel to zero x axis because it does not get changed with the production. Let's make a graph for variable cost now. This is 0x axis, this is 0y axis. 0x we have units, 0y we have cost. It starts with origin. It may either go upward or it may go downward. As and when units changes, the cost changes. It might be upward or downward depending on your production but normally this is how your variable cost look like. It may be in some other format as like little bended etc. But more at large the concept will remain same that production changes so is the cost. This concept is called variable cost. Then comes semi variable cost or cost which is a combination of both fixed cost as well as variable cost. Either it may be like this where up to an extent it was fixed and then it goes up. The example of semi-variable cost could be your electricity bill. Up to an extent it is fixed. So minimum monthly rental, a fixed amount. Post that your electricity bill moves with how many units you use. That's a semi-variable cost. The another example of semi-variable cost could be your data. When you use data on your mobile phone, there is a fixed rental up to certain MBs or GB as per your plan. And post that per KB you being charged. That is an example of semi-variable cost. So either it could be initial fixed and variable or it could be variable initially and then get constant. Whatever is the 
a pattern of this normally semi variable cost looks like that now at nutshell we have a cost classification as fixed cost a cost which does not change with the level of activity but changes with time variable cost which changes with production and not the time and semi variable cost which is a combination of both this is how the fixed cost look like this is how your variable cost look like and this is how your semi variable cost look like now when we know the classification of cost as variable fixed and semi variable this another cost which can be useful for to know that is called stepped fixed cost a cost which remain constant for some time it moves up then again get constant it may also go downward it looks like steps that's why it's called stepped fixed cost the step fixed cost example could be rent again so i'm paying 100 dollar rent for one year post that my landlord increases the rent now the rent has gone up to 110 dollars so that's where up to an extent for one year it was stabilized went up got stabilized this is how step fixed cost look like if we put it on graphical format step fixed cost will be something like this it looks like steps maybe upward or maybe downward depends but this is what we call step fixed cost that's all about the basic classification of cost as per their nature we have discussed the cost classification as fixed variable and semi variable now let's look at another classification of cost that is basis whether it's a production related cost or is a non production related cost so the another classification of cost could be production cost and non production cost a production cost is a cost which is related to production of a product directly or indirectly primarily the raw material the labor which we use in any other expenses which are related to production are called production cost non production cost are those cost which are not directly or indirectly linked to the production the example of non production cost could be salary of office staff the depreciation of furniture the depreciation of office building all these are non production cost your selling and distribution expenses is a non production cost the production cost which has direct or indirect linkage with production is called production cost such as material labor carriage factory rent factory depreciation these are called production cost the production cost can further be classified as direct cost and indirect cost the direct production cost is a cost which is directly linked to a particular product or service which is directly identifiable for example when i am making a mobile phone the cost which is directly linked to mobile phone is a direct production cost the indirect production cost could be a factory supervisor salary so i'm having a factory where i'm making mobile phone so supervisor salary is a indirect production cost it is linked to the production but indirectly it is not directly identifiable on a particular product that's why we call that indirect cost there are indirect cost can also be called overhead now onwards in our sessions we will be using the word called overhead for indirect production cost there are two method to classify indirect cost one is called absorption method 
And second method is called activity based costing, in short we call ABC. In our next sessions, we will be talking about these two in much detail. Here, let us understand that this is how cost can be classified. Now, when we know this classification, let us go backward. The direct production cost can also be called prime cost. So, direct production cost is a prime cost. Prime cost plus overhead is equal to production cost or we can also call that factory overhead. The factory overhead plus non-production cost is equal to total cost. So if we go backward, we will understand all the classification. A quick recap. The cost can be classified as production cost and non-production cost. Production cost can also be called factory overhead. Production cost can further be classified into direct cost and indirect cost. The indirect cost can also be called overhead and direct production cost can be called prime cost. Prime cost plus overhead becomes total production cost. Total production cost plus non-production cost becomes total cost. This is the another classification of cost. Now we understand the basics of costing, how we can classify the cost. In our next session, we will be talking about a concept called absorption costing. Absorption costing is a method which we use to classify indirect production cost or overhead and we allocate it on the products. Till then, stay tuned. I will see you soon.